Welcome to AI Depth Finder. We have three topics today. The first is related to some proprietary work that Deepwater did uh, in terms of gauging, measuring, benchmarking which of the four chatbots are the smartest. And drumroll, turns out that of the 40 questions we asked, followed by a series of follow-up prompts, that I see these models as basically having similar intelligence. And that finding did surprise me. I thought Grok was not going to score as well just because it's relatively new to the game. Uh, but in fact, they all are of similar intelligence, which begs the question, what do you do with that? And my conclusion is that actually drifts back to uh, the topic of search. And of course, Google, there's been con some concerns related to how generative AI is going to impact their search business. And my view is if it is, in fact, these models have similar intelligence, that it's not enough for someone to change their search behavior to jump over to, let's say, OpenAI when they later this year come out with their search engine. Basically, it's not 10x better than what Google is offering. And of course, Google, with their 4 billion daily active search users, are integrating now generative results within the general search bar. And so bottom line is I had a surprising conclusion to our intelligence tests of these models is that Google, their search business, is in a great place longer term. Our second topic is related to some other benchmarking that we're doing related uh, around the ability of these chatbots, the same four chatbots, to predict the future. And so we don't have the results yet because we just asked for the predictions. All these are related to events that are going to happen or questions related to this year. And so in the case of uh, the 15, I won't go through all 15, but I'm just going to highlight a few of them. They ranged in topics, everything from sports to politics to finance. And the, a few of them that really uh, stuck out to me, one was related to the elections. If we, we asked who is most likely the Democratic uh, candidate for president this year, and of the four, uh, Gemini said it would not answer. Gemini does not come even close to answering anything that is politically related. It's almost comical. And then we had Claude and GPT both saying maybe it's uh, Biden. And uh, in terms of uh, Grok, it said that it is not going to be Biden. And so the takeaway there was some consistency with, I think, how humans are thinking about this topic is the models are kind of saying this feels like it's uh, generally drifting towards Biden, but kind of has an up for grabs component to it. Uh, moving forward, as far as who do you think will win the next U.S. presidential election, uh, surprising results here is that uh, Gemini, of course, wouldn't answer the question. But GPT and Claude both said that they believe Biden will win and Rock said Trump will win. Maybe that's part of that left or that writer leaning uh, Grok model that suggested Trump will win. Or maybe it's the odds makers right now are clearly favoring Trump to be the next president. In terms of the uh, piece here, it was an example or the takeaway it's an example where humans are gravitating towards trump as a heavy favorite the betting lines are suggesting that where the models are saying that biden is going to be the likely winner so this one's going to be a fun one to watch to see how that prediction plays out the prediction uh, that caught my attention the most though was related to china and taiwan where two of the models that being gemini and grok said that they expect china to invade taiwan this year not what I wanted to see, and uh, the, uh, I would have expected none of them to have suggested that. And as uh, we think about the impact, there's another question related to how the markets are going to do in the back half of the year, specifically some of the biggest tech companies. And from uh, their perspective, uh, two of the four models suggest that we're going to see a pretty big pullback in some of the mega caps. It happened to be the same ones, Gemini and Grok, that predict that China is going to invade Taiwan. Those two models also suggest that we're going to see a pullback of more than 30 percent in some of the mega caps this year. And so uh, there is other good ones related to the Olympics as they uh, progress or as we uh, get clarification on these predictions we're going to be sharing with you in on depth finder how the models are doing on those predictions 
Last topic is related to a smart move by Google and Apple today to take a step back from OpenAI's board. This, of course, was because they don't want to have be even more in the crosshairs related to regulation. And when you play this forward, OpenAI today is a relatively small company. It's going to have a huge grip on our lives in the decades to come. And so smart move by Apple and um, Microsoft, excuse me, Apple and Microsoft and stepping back from from their roles there. I think it also underscores just what a great job those two companies have done over the past decade really to uh, keep the business growing despite what has been mounting regulatory pressure. On behalf of Depth Finder, I'm Gene. Bye for now.